welcome to Rigsby's Carpent Adventures, episode five. Today you join me down at Corby Boating Lake uh, with my son Jack. <coughs> Unfortunately, my mate Danny, who was meant to be coming with me, was working last night and when I phoned him this morning, I think he was a bit too tired, he said he couldn't make it. So, me and Jack have come down here anyway. We're all set up now, rods are out, we're fishing. Um, it's now 10 to 10, I think, roughly. We've been here for about an hour and a half. Um, my right hand rod is fishing over to a fish safe haven. See if I can draw them out um, on a peach and pepper pop-up with some sweet corn and breadcrumbs off and around. And then my left hand rod is fishing over towards a, an island with a, a chunk of meat and some sweet corn and breadcrumbs scattered around that too. Uh, I'm not sure how much the ducks have had of it now. Um, there's plenty of ducks and gulls around, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they took some of Jack's bait. Jack's fishing two rods as well. He's uh, fishing on some homemade oilies that he made himself. Yep. I'll, I'll let him tell you the flavours. What flavours are they, Jack? Uh, Talk up loud. I'm using spicy flavour of oilies. You've got garlic and chilli powder in. So that's what I'm using at the moment. So one of them's got sweet on both corn rods. Well. Yeah, both rods. On both rods, he's using his homemade boilies. Hopefully, you can get one on them. That'll be ace if we can get one first time out and making some of his own boilies. But yeah, uh, hopefully, we can get a fish on the bank. I know it's cold and it's been miserable, it's been raining, but hopefully, that don't put them off. Hopefully, we can get a bite. It'll be nice. So, until then, um, I'll see you soon. Uh, hello. It's been about, oh, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. Let's have a look. Where's my phone? Well, it's been about an hour now. I've uh, moved where I was fishing and I've changed one of my baits over as well. Um, one of them I was fishing with a chunk of meat and some sweet corn thrown around it. And every time you put some bait out, the gulls, the ducks, and the coots all over it, I'm doing them in nutting. So I've moved where I was fishing. I'm now left hand rods fishing open water uh, on a white pop up. And my right hand rod. I've put down, I've moved it to the margin on the right hand side. With an orange, pink, pink and pepper. Ah, pink and pepper pop up. So, yeah, hopefully I can grab one, but if I get anything, I'll uh, keep you posted. So, see you soon. See you Since my last blog entry, um, the ducks and that are doing my nutting. As soon as you put a little bit of bait out there on it, like a car bonnet, it's doing me edging. But um, every so often, you can come feed the ducks, give me an opportunity to put some more bait out. Um, I've had a couple of bleeps, so the fish are in the area. Um, hopefully, we can bag one. Well, Jack's not had nothing either, really. No. <laughs> Um, but hopefully we can get one. I'm fishing back over towards the island and uh, my right hand rod's on the far margin. So uh, hopefully I can get one. So uh, until then, uh, see you soon. Well hello, I just thought I'd show you where I'm fishing. My right hand rod is fishing right over there on the far side, about a rod length in front of those reeds. And then my left hand rod is fishing about a rod length away from that point there. Yeah, the ducks are doing me heading, but hopefully I'll get one. I like coming here, it's close to home. There's a decent head of carp, even though I have heard of a couple of people today that they're gonna have it netted in a week or so, 
and they're going to um, take out about 150 carp ranging from 7 to 10 pound because the biggest in here is um, 33 I believe yeah, they, they're going to somebody's bought 150 of them and then they're going to replace it with a load of uh, silvers as well so people can come down here and just do a bit of pleasure fishing and catch a silver um, yeah other than that I've got nothing else to report unfortunately uh, hopefully I'll get a fish soon and uh, you'll be the first to hear about it see you soon hello <coughs> well not much has happened since my last entry um, I did have one it knocked me bobbing off and everything but it, it, when I pulled into it it wasn't there unfortunately but then Jack was uh, as he was casting out <coughs> A, a goal, float. yeah, a float on it. A goal flew into it and hooked itself. So uh, we had to try and get that in. And I was trying to tell Jack to reel it in, and he's like, "I don't want to hurt it." <laughs> but yeah, we got it in and got it unhooked, unfortunately. So all is good. Um, still not much happening on the fish front, as I say. I had that one earlier, and it knocked me bobbing off and everything. And when I struck into it, there was, yeah, there was nothing in. There was nothing there, unfortunately. Both spat it out. But yeah, hopefully we can still get one. Um, there's still time. We've still got a couple of hours for uh, think about packing up when the light starts fading. So uh, until then, um, I'll see you soon. Well, hello. Getting towards the end of the day now. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. Uh, I've not had nothing since that run earlier, which when I struck into it, it weren't there. Yeah, changed spots a few times, changed onto a zig for a bit, and got no action. Jack's did at the same point, he's tried various different baits and techniques. And nothing's worked. Yeah, nothing's worked. So, unless I catch a fish, um, well, well, I might see you again soon, depends, I don't know yet. <laughs> Hopefully, I can catch a fish and we'll get one on the bank. Still got about an hour. So I'm not going to pack up till about four. So until then, see you soon. Well, hello. Still no fish as of yet. Now we're just starting to do a slow pack up. Got about 45 minutes before we go home. Uh, temperature's quite a drop right, quite a bit now. So yeah, hopefully we can get one before we go home. If we do, you'll see me again. If not, thanks for watching. You can also follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And like my page. All the best and tight lines.